Yo, what's going on? Today I'm coming with a diaper review, another diaper review. And if you guys are hearing something random, don't worry about it. The baby's down here, he's playing. I'm in his little era because he wants to be able to see me. You wanna say hi, Luke? Say hi. Say hi. Say hi to the people. Say hello. Say hi, YouTube. Yeah. Say hi. Okay, so I'm doing a diaper review. This is Love's and this is Up and Up. I get asked this question all the time, the difference between the two, because y'all know I have tried all of them. I have tried Huggies. I have tried Pampers. I have tried Honest Company. I have tried Parents' Choice. I have tried Love's. I have tried Up and Up. I have tried them all. And my number one favorite, I'll tell you at the end. Mm -hmm. So, Love's, Up and Up. Love's, Up and Up. Up and Up, Love's. Loves up and up. Get the gist. Both of these are off brand because you know, with name brand, you get the Huggies or the Pampers, right? Up and up brand. Number one thing that I did notice about the up and up brand is on the back, it's just like the Huggies where you have the elastic on the back. But you see the little piece of elastic that's on the back right here. That's one of the things that I did notice is the elastic on the back. Another thing that I noticed is this diaper is a lot thicker. It feels like it has four layers on the inside. I mean, yes, it's fully lined like the Loves, but it's, it's lined from front to rear. This is the rear and you see it goes all the way up back. But yeah, I mean, it's fully lined. I, to me, it feels like it's got at least four layers on here. The design of these are all the same as um, Love's. Theirs is all the same. Um, another thing that I noticed is when it gets wet, it turns into like a gel consistency. It exploded and it was like gel crap everywhere. It was disgusting. Another thing I want to say about these is the price. These are actually reasonably priced. You can find coupons on these. I don't know if you ladies coupons. Oh, and my men too. But I don't know if you guys coupon. With the Up and Up brand, you can use the Target coupon, which you can get at Target.com forward slash coupons, I believe. You can also stack it. You can use your cartwheel coupon as well. I'll leave a link in the description box on how to sign up for cartwheel will you get a percentage off uh, of certain stuff they have sales on different things uh-uh they have sales on certain stuff every week and I want to say this week they have a sale going on right now like when I got these I had stacked up because they were on sale for um, like a box was $18.99 or something like that now these are supposed to be hypoallergenic diapers TJ Come here, Benaka. All right, so with the Love's diapers, one thing I did notice with these, they do have a scent to, I guess he wants to show it to you guys. So, one thing I did notice with the Love's is that they do have a scent to them, so they have powder in them. That's one of the things, if your baby is allergic to diapers, well, allergic to certain diapers, nine times out of 10, it's probably powder that they put in the diapers, like Huggies. They have a powder in them, but it's one of those that is unscented. Pampers, they have them in there as well, but theirs are unscented as well. Up and up, they're hypoallergenic. They have no powder in them at all, which is why they have the gel. Now with the Loves, you can actually smell the scent of the powder in the Loves. I don't know what brand powder it is or what the the name of the powder or anything i don't know he's not allergic to it so it doesn't bother me at all number one thing that i did notice the difference between the up and up brand and the loves is that the loves they um do not have the elastic band on the back like you would see for the huggies or the pampers or the up and up so that's one of the differences that you see on the back i think that's the one thing that irks my nerves with the loves is the fact that it doesn't have the elastic band on the back number two things is that it does have a fragrance so it does have a powder unlike the up and up brand it is not hypoallergenic up and up is hypoallergenic one of the things that i like about loves is that it can hold a lot like a lot a lot we tested it out on him just to see how long it would take for him to pee through one of these 
and literally that thing was a basketball when we picked it up it was flipping huge like when i say huge i mean that's an understatement for what it was it literally held all night long that 12 hours that it's talking about honey it could probably do more than 12 hours but i wouldn't suggest it he was only in that diaper for maybe about seven hours and it was a freaking basketball when we picked it up. I, I have no complaints with loves. Now with up and up, he's peed through those a couple of times. So if you have a child that pees a lot, you might want to go ahead and try loves just to see. But some people, um, their baby doesn't pee through the up and up. He actually pees through the up and up like, like that. that is the end of my review i hope you guys enjoyed it um be sure to subscribe if you haven't already thumbs up this video for more reviews tutorials diys all of that jazziness and we will see you guys in the next one